Hey guys, it's another This Is What Happened, but you weren't here, so you missed it vlog. Um, yeah, I'm always in the kitchen, it seems like. Well, we're going to do a little bit of cooking today. We're going to make a uh, potato knish. Um, I'm not Jewish, but I love Jewish food. It's just, it's comfort food to me. So, today, um, I'm going to show you how I make knish. The first time I made this recipe, I made it with real potatoes and I made mashed potatoes and I made the mistake of putting milk in the mashed potatoes it wasn't good some of the um, you know it was too loose you need a really stiff mashed potato so this time I don't feel like using real potatoes so I'm going to be using a mix you know um, instant mashed potatoes but don't like get the cheap um, instant mashed potatoes if that's what you're gonna do because it's just gonna taste like cardboard get like the Idahoan um, instant potato buds those so um, let's see what we got here in this bowl I have the dough for the outside of the potato knish and that's basically um, three cups of flour three tablespoons of oil, three eggs, and a table, a teaspoon and a half of baking powder, and salt to taste. I usually put like a quarter teaspoon of salt. I try and cut down on the salt a little bit. So yeah, you're going to um, mix that up and add enough water, probably about five or six tablespoons of cold water to uh, get a firm dough. And then let that sit a little bit because um, once you kneaded it, the gluten is going to activate in the flour and it's going to be like a rubber band so you got to let it rest for a little while probably about half an hour 20 minutes um, until you're able to like work with it again otherwise it's going to be like rolling out chewing gum it's going to be really elastic and over here I have my um, instant mashed potatoes no milk just butter however many uh, you know whatever the recipe is for that and to that today I added um, about a cup of uh, taco blend cheddar cheese. So I like uh, cheesy mashed potatoes. I don't know about you guys, but if it's cheese, I'm there. So um, I've rolled out my some of my dough, like a little bit of it, enough to make, let's see, that's probably like six inches across, and I use my handy dandy Pampered Chef rolling pin. And to that, we're going to come over here, and I got my Pampered Chef scoop. I can't remember what size scoop this was. It probably says it on there somewhere. So I'm just going to put a scoop of the potato mixture on there. <laughs> Sorry for the back and forth. I'm sure you're, like, ready to throw up. All right, and what you do, I'm trying to do this. I don't have anybody filming for me today. You just basically wrap up the potato mixture in the knish skin I'm not doing a very good job here but you get the you get the idea I'm not gonna finish that one I've got some over here in the pan already that are done and put the seam side down and what we're gonna be doing is brushing those with a little bit of um, beaten egg before we put them in the oven we're gonna put them in at about 375 degrees for about 40, 45 minutes. And I'll check back with you when they come out of the oven. Flashy. Flashy, what are you doing? You waiting for Shawnee to come home? What you doing down there, baby bear? What you doing? Waiting for your boy? Yeah, you pretty much ruined that door, didn't you? <laughs> Well, you gonna look out the window? Come on. Get up, Flash. Where's Shawnee? Stretch it out. Yeah. Where's your boy? Do I hear the bus? Do you hear the bus? I think Verdell does. Oh, you're gonna play it cool, huh? Gonna act all nonchalant. Yeah, you're so tired. Nice yogurt stain on your nose. I know what you've been doing. Yes. <laughs> yes, pretend that you're asleep. 
Okay, so here they are right out of the oven, nice and golden, yellow, brown. <laughs> and we're going to be serving them with some sautéed onion, garlic, and mushroom. With, of course, salt and pepper in there. So, I usually put the onion on the inside of the knish, but not everybody likes onions. So, we're going to compromise and we're going to do the sautéed thing. So, I hope you try the recipe. Let me know uh, what you think if you try it. And I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow for the Friday special. Till next time, much love.